What's up, everyone? Hope everyone is doing amazing today. And today, I want to speak about if your website is ready to run ads. As you guys know, after you do the product research, you create an appealing offer. Um, you make great videos or you take great videos online and you just, you know, cut a bit and you make your own stuff with them. Uh, and you set your ads. Is your website ready to convert as much people as you can? A lot of people, what they don't understand is they don't understand the concept of dropshipping. You guys are going to tell me, like, what are you talking about? I do understand what dropshipping is. No, you don't. You guys, most of you watching our video don't understand what dropshipping is. You understand the whole concept, but you don't understand what's behind the customer mind when it, they come to your website. Okay, today I'm going to explain you what you need to do. Like, well, first of all, I'm going to explain you the concept of dropshipping when it comes down to uh, the customer behavior. And also I'm going to explain what should you not do when it comes down to a website. I have multiple examples here of things that you should not do. And um, you will have a clear vision when I end, uh, when I finish this uh, video. That's what I mean. So let's dive into it. So the first thing that you need to understand is dropshipping and having a brand is two completely different things. Why? Because dropshipping what you need to understand is that people are seeing your product on Facebook, on TikTok, on Pinterest, on whatever platform you desire to advertise to. They're going to see your product right there. After they see your product, the first thing that they are going to think is, okay, can I find this product elsewhere? Most often than not, people will not be able to find your product elsewhere because they don't know that your supplier is on aliexpress they don't know that they can find this product on amazon if you do a good product research most often than not they will never find your product if you do things correctly they will never find your product so that's the first thing they know they cannot find your product so they need to buy it from you but the the other problem is they will never remember the name of your website because you're not an established brand and since they will never uh, remember your website, the moment they have a distraction, I don't know, Johnny, their wife is calling, is calling John, like his wife is calling Johnny to go eat something. Oh, baby, come eat. I just made uh, food. Come eat. They will leave the phone. They will not complete the purchase. And they will, when they will come back in Facebook, they will say, oh, what was the product name again? What was... Like the website again, they don't know. So you just lost a customer right there. So since you're not established, people are not going to remember you. So if you lose them or they go out of your website, you lost that sale directly. That's the first thing. The second thing is, do you have urgency on your website to make sure that people are like, they really want they really want to purchase now because think about it. They will have a product that they don't know how to get elsewhere. It, at a, it is at a massive discount for an affordable price, but for a limited time. So those are the things that people will think about. And now they will buy it. But the last thing is, do you make your website like a brand or you make your website like a drop shipper. That those are two different things. If you make your website like a drop shipper, you make sure that you have the right information to give to your client about your product, but not too much that your client gets overwhelmed. You want them to understand quickly or have a little bit more information if they want to keep reading or keep uh, like looking for pictures, but not too much that they go and stay a few hours on your website because the longer they stay on your website, the harder it's going to be to convert them. And also uh, the less chance you're going to have to convert them since you cannot control outside activities like uh, 
Johnny's wife calling. You cannot control that, so you will uh, lose a sale. So you need to make sure that you have a product that people cannot find elsewhere, what it's hard to find with other criteria. Obviously, if you want to know more about those criteria, you need to watch my brother's video. But I'm just saying overall, because now we're speaking about your website, about the, is your website ready? Not about any other thing. So I put my in faces my on uh, this topic right here. Okay, a good product that cannot be found elsewhere. Afterwards, you want to make sure that you have an appealing offer with scarcity and that you uh, make sure that people don't stay too long on your website. You have enough, but not too much information. When you have those things compared to a brand, a brand doesn't care if you don't purchase right now because they will collect either your email, they will collect your uh, phone number, they will retarget you with ads on the same platform or on different platform. So they know you will convert later on because you're going to watch them more than once. So don't do the same thing as brand because you're not a brand yet. You're in your way to find a product that you could potentially brand. You're not in the branding stage. So don't do what people do in the branded stage when you're not into it. And the big reason why dropshipper fail is they don't acknowledge, they don't understand that every single pop-up, every single thing on your website that distracts them from purchasing is hurting your sales. And when you're running ads to find a product that could possibly be a winner and uh, yield you money, yield you earning, make you profitable, then you want to put as less distraction as possible. And obviously, the moment you start converting that product into a brand because it is successful and it is profitable, so you want to convert it into a brand so you can make even more money by tackling the background. What is the background? Upsells, cross-sell, SMS marketing, SMS marketing, email marketing, um, and post-purchase, post-purchase upsells. Um, also, well, basically so many things that you can add on your website, but you understood what I'm trying to say. So you want to make sure that people are going to purchase fast. And later on, if it, if it's a product that is profitable, that is giving you money, that is scalable, then you want to work on the back end to make even more. And now you can act more like a brand and have more pop-ups. But at first, those pop-ups are hurting you badly, guys. They're hurting you at a level that you just don't understand. Like this, this video right here that I'm making and that I just made uh, and and the, the what I'm showing on the screen, as you see, there's a little pop-up that comes here every once in a while. This is distraction. This is not, oh, yeah, but it's a proof that, you know, I'm getting orders. That is distraction from what the clients need. The clients saw your video. They like your video. They like your website. Uh, they like your product. They see reviews. They don't need anything more. Don't try to add up. People don't need that much to convert. As long as they desire the product, the, the website doesn't look spammy. The videos looks good. And there's uh, other people like on the reviews saying, I want this product, then you don't need anything else. And on this website alone, you have this pop-up right here. That's a wasted click. If you click here, that's a wasted click for your customers. The more click your customer needs to do to check out, the less chance you have to convert it. Guys, now in 2024, uh, in the past few months, um, Shopify has been shifted to one page, one landing page checkout. Why? Less click is better. So if Shopify is doing it, then why you're not doing it? Less click is better. Look at right here. This is distracting me. If I'm reading and you have a short attention spam, you'll be watching every few seconds, you'll be watching that little pop-up. So you will not be able to focus on what really matters. And it's the text. Obviously, this, this, is, this text is disgusting. My brother 
uh, we'll make more videos, obviously, about, you know, what a good product looks like, what a good website, in terms of website looks like, um, in terms of product page, I mean. But uh, yeah, so please don't be distracted. If you get distracted, then you're, uh, not if you get, but if you get your client distracted, then you have no, no chance to convert them. And that's not that what you want. Again, you see? So many distractions. Now let's come here. Again, here, our big pop-up. They need to enter the email. Guys, this is distraction. You want them to buy right now. You don't want them to enter their email. Those things is when you have a brand. This is not good. Another one right here. Oh, website cookies. Got it. What are you going? What are you doing with the cookies? Like, are you a billion dollar brand? You're a drop shipper. You need to make money first. Don't think about those things that are not necessary up front. Like, guys, if you're not making money with drop shipping, you know what is this called? It's called a hobby. If you're not making money with your business, it's a hobby. It's not a business. So make sure you focus on making money first and then improve later on on what really matters. Same thing on this part right here. You know, this this website right here that I uh, showed, you see, doesn't look like there's, uh, there's spammy things, but there are, look at this right here, a message, a message. No, guys, this is good when you have a brand or you're selling a high, high ticket product. This is not good when you're selling a domino train, where you're selling a makeup, like makeup stuff. It is not good. You're distracting, distracting the cuts, the consumer. Do you need to contact the customer support when women are going to purchase like lipstick or a $30 product? No, you need to contact the support, the supplier when you have a high end product or that you're making so much money. You're, you're literally having so such a big brand that having that thing right here will help you to minimize the customer support reply. But when you start, you won't have any of those struggles up front. And again, this one, even though the fresh frenzy looks good, it's not necessary. It's distracting. So make sure you don't distract your customer. You go right away to the point. Keep this in mind. Drop shipping is not branding. If you want to brand later on, Fine with me. You can do whatever you want. But as long as you're doing drop shipping, you need to make sure to go right away to the point with your client and not waste their time. If you waste their time, they will not end up buying and you will not end up profitable. That's it. So your website will be slower. People will not buy and you will, you know, just think it's not a winning product when you're actually not doing things correctly. Guys, at the end of the day, yes, every information out there about dropshipping is, let's say, good. You can find a lot of information that will help you out there. But if you want really to know what is important and not play with the fluffy stuff, we teach people from zero to a thousand real quick what you need, not the, oh, you need this SMS marketing. You need that. No, no, no. We tell you exactly what you need to start making you money with drop shipping, with the right tools, with the right strategies. And we tell you straight to the point what you need, not what, oh yeah, but I've seen on this video that email marketing. No, email marketing is awesome when you have a brand. When you're doing drop shipping upfront, this is no bueno. So if you want more information about our mentoring, you can contact us. If you don't need it, then watch this video again and again and make sure that you understand carefully that it's all about convert converting your client fast and not playing around with them. Because if you play around with them, you will not end up profitable and you will just lose the chance of maybe making money online. So wish you all an amazing rest of the day. Take care and peace out.